Shalom Aleichem. Hope everything is well by you, that you're safe and relaxed and thinking right. Every side, in every debate, in every argument, in every battle, has his opinions, has his side, the way that he experienced reality. But um, I think that today the main thing that we should focus on is the mutual parts, the parts that in those we have something in common, that something is holding strong together even though we can suffer and feel so much pain and difficulties from the differences and from the distance of the different opinions and the individual and personal needs of every person, every side. Something to mention that here in the Holy Land of Israel there can be arguments that will be ancient than time even who the land belongs to and who inherit it and who lived on it and who has the right to live in it arguments like those can rise up you see even even the birds has something to say Everyone can talk and everyone can say their opinions, but there is a reality that we are facing and the reality is what that really goes on in our lives. And in our lives today, the main thing that we need to focus on is on the will of human beings to live together, to live in peace. The anger and the rage is expressing itself because of the simple fact that people are fighting. If someone was killed from one family, so then it's simple and understandable that that family or the people around that family will develop a certain rage, frustration, anger toward the ones who killed their loved one. Now, of course, that on the other side, the feeling will be the same. If one of their family died, they will be angry and upset and sad and maybe even look and seek for revenge. You cannot stop that while it's happening because until death will disappear from the world, we will continue suffering from the outcomes of, of it and the sorrow and the pain that it drags with it. Now you can say stop killing and they can say stop killing and we can say stop killing. Everyone can say stop killing. But everyone controls only himself. We know that there are radical evil groups that are waking up the anger and the fight and the war, brainwashing young people to rage and to be angry and to go and to kill. And those groups are the real ones to fight. I don't think that Today there is a war between Jews to Palestinians or Palestinians against Jews. I think that there are radical groups in the world that are waking up. Angers that are sabotaging the peace, that are bringing hatred and sorrow to the world. And they are the real enemy of all the good people. Bottom line, I think that the war is that darkness is trying to overpower light and goodness and that we should all join the forces of light to increase light, to increase love, to increase faith 
and peace and we're all under the same God. You can call him in one name and I will call him in a different name. Those are results of culture, of history, of education. There is one maker to the universe and on that all normal people will agree. Also there are very annoying flies May Hashem bless us and bring peace among us and bring understanding and love and that love will lead the way and truth will lead the way and that we will find the way in joy and happiness and health with no more losses, with no more pain and bloodshed, God forbid. Amen.